Hi everyone, this is Tracy. Welcome back to my channel today. I am so excited to share with you my version of the little vintage trucks that uh, are from the Dollar Tree. Now, I have seen these in a couple of crafting groups as well as there is uh, two people um, that inspired me here on YouTube. And I want to uh, do my part by you know, letting you know who inspired me, how you can watch it. Maybe you will pick up tips from their videos um, that you don't pick up from mine, because that is what this community is all about, is about sharing and caring enough to let us know where you got the inspiration so that we can learn from each other. And I just love this community that we are building. Anyway, so... Here is my little versions. Aren't they so cute? I did a blue one and I also did a red one. My video is going to show you both of them because I can't make one for me and not make one for my sister. So I decided to do the video showing how I made both of these, how I made the cute little bows because I get lots of comments on my bows. So I do have uh, the bow tutorial included in this video. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, I have two of the blue trucks, two red trucks. I have two of the jack-o'-lantern boxes. These are the large boxes, the uh, largest that they have available. I have some blue and red paint. I also have some craft sticks. I was thinking about doing a little fence on the truck, but decided against that, and then my X-Acto knife. Um, I struggled a bit with this X-Acto knife. I don't know if it was just me. Uh, a box cutter probably would be more efficient but I didn't have a box cutter available at the moment and uh, I didn't want to go try to find one so that's what I would recommend. Okay, I removed the handles from each box and then uh, for the red one, I had this red paint that you may have seen in the picture, but once I started painting it, I noticed that uh, it was a very thin, transparent, and it was going to take like, you know, 20 coats to do that and I did not have time for that. So I pulled out my trusty Waverly chalk paint in lacquer and this uh, only took three coats of this lacquer paint. Now I'm just painting uh, what you kind of see here. A lot of it's going to be hidden, but later in the video, I decide that I'm going to paint the whole box uh, inside and then outside, um, unless it was glued to the actual truck that I wasn't going to see. So, you know, I change my mind a lot, guys. The blue, I use this Americana navy blue color and uh, I added three coats as well. So I'm just painting a bit of it, but then later I will go back in and I will paint the inside as well. So to start my trucks, um, I'm removing the uh, raffia because I don't want that. I'm going to make my own little bow and then, you know, I got to do it. I got to doodle up these little trucks because they are a bit boring and so I have to do my thing by just doodling up using my black sharpie marker and then just going around and doodling up these trucks and then also the bed of the truck. I know some of this is going to be hidden but it just makes me feel better if I know that I have everything done the way that I like it. I do the same thing with my white paint, just go around each of the little trucks as well as the beds and just add some white paint for highlights and also character. Okay, um, I'm hot gluing the box onto the truck and uh, once I got it positioned, I wish I would have moved it down just a tad. So see where the end of the uh, truck is, like where the wheels are. I wish I would have put the bottom of my box, line it up with the bottom of that, but I was 
basically lining it up at the top like we're right under the pumpkins and so then once I got the other piece on I'm like darn it I wish I would have um, dropped it down just a, a bit like a half an inch or something like that but I did get it right on the red one so then now is when I decided you know what I do not like that green showing so I go back in and I paint the inside of the box Okay, so working on the red truck, now I have it right. Uh, I'm hot gluing uh, the truck to, I mean the box to the back of that truck and I'm lining it up down there like where the wheels are because of that gives me just a little more room at the top to, you know, decorate it and put things in it that I want. I paint the inside of the red truck box as well as I painted the backs and the uh, little bottom of the red truck. I painted both of the backs, the red and then the blue. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, then you don't need to. I just did it for myself because that's what I like and I didn't want to see that bare wood. So then now what I'm showing you is I wanted to put a little roughness of the um, on the box be so that it would match the like the rusty colors of the what's on the truck so i just have a stencil brush and just some milk chocolate paint in americana and then i just you know just kind of dab that on there just brush that on and then i give the box a coat of this varnish this gloss varnish that's my favorite one to use i will have a link in the description below if you would like to check it out and then we are good this is how my trucks look so far and now the fun part i'm going to show you how i created the little bows for these trucks here are the ribbons that I'm going to use for my bows. As I go through the bow, I will tell you where I got the ribbon from. I decided not to use that jewel recording because I uh, am going to use raffia instead. Okay, so for the first bow, I have this black and white buffalo check. It's cut at 10 inches, and then I just fold it in half and make a V cut. And then now this burlap with white polka dot is from the Dollar Tree. I do the same thing, cut it at 10 inches, and then just V cut that. I have this red chevron burlap is also from the Dollar Tree. Cut that at 10 inches and then V cut those ends as well. Then what I'll do is I will just stack them on top of each other and then uh, kind of crisscrossing them a bit so that they're not all on top of each other and then I will take my little tiny attacher little stapler that I love 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 this little thing anyway so I just staple it together and that way they just stay right there okay so then this little ribbon is an after Christmas sale that I've gotten uh, with several years ago uh, anyway it's not Christmas ribbon it's just burlap you know I know it was for gifts and stuff so I just cut me um, I don't know how long. I don't measure anything. I know I get questions about that. I don't measure a whole lot. I just eyeball everything. Anyway, so I just made a little bow and stapled all of that together. And then now I have this raffia. Uh, I'm not tying that into a bow. I'm actually knotting it in the middle. And then I'll just layer that like that. I'll trim that up later. And then I have my little burlap bow. And then I had cut a, like a two inch piece that I'm gonna put on the, uh, in the middle to, to make it all pretty. But first I'm going to make some little curly cues and these little paper wire, uh, paper covered wires I get at Walmart. They're in the floral section. I will have a, a picture of the tag what they looked like uh, anyway, but I get questions about these little curly cues that I make. Um, where do I get the wire? It's in the floral section at Walmart. You may can get it at other stores too, but that's where I got these. So I am just twisting both ends of the wire around the little dowel and then in the middle is where I will attach it to uh, my ribbon. Um, what I'm doing there is I have my needle nose pliers and I just kind of bend the ends that I can't get quite curled enough around the dowel. I just bend those edges in so that, you know, they look pretty and that it won't scratch me or someone else.
Those little pink finger caps are Mod Podge finger caps. They're made for hot glue and it just is a lifesaver. I know I say that in all of my videos, but I this those little finger caps have really saved my fingers because if you have ever been burned by hot glue, you know that, you know, words come out of your mouth that you don't normally say. Anyway, so um, I'm a huge advocate for saving the fingers. Anyway, so what I do is if I have any uh, excess, I just trim it off. Now for the blue truck ribbons, uh, this burlap and blue striped is from Craft Outlet. This white chevron is from the Dollar Tree. Those are both cut at 10 inches. This orange and white buffalo check or gingham ribbon is from Hobby Lobby and uh, cut that at 10 inches as well. And then I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just making a bow with that little burlap and then making a knot with some raffia and then just stacking that up using my little tiny attacher to kind of hold it all together. And then just stacking that up using a Chanel stem to kind of tie it all together. And then I'll use that extra little piece, hot glue that on there put my little pink finger cap on. Just kind of close it all up there with my hot glue. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot to put the curly cues on. So yes, yes, yes. So we've got to have them curly cues, yes. So uh, what I do is new problem. Um, I'm sorry I'm out of frame just a little bit, but uh, I just ended up taking that burlap that little last piece of burlap off and um, I couldn't get the Chanel stem off but what I did was um, just added another Chanel stem and then cut another piece of burlap and just wrapped it around the center and we are in business no problemo I'm glad that I realized that I forgot to put the curly cues on this ribbon before I glued it to the truck that would have been awful anyway but sometimes those things happen in crafting uh, a lot of the times for me <laughs> These little leaves came from the Dollar Tree and I just am um, gluing about four on there and then I just add my bow by hot gluing it to the top of the truck kind of in the middle like where those leaves don't meet I just left a little space for my bow and then just hold that till it's dry. I do the same thing on this blue one I just alternate some leaves. And then I just hot glue my bow on top, just like that, holding it for a few seconds. Okay guys, I hope that you got some tips for that, but what I want to know is do you, which one do you like? Do you like the red truck or do you like the blue truck? I love them both. I don't know which one my sister is going to choose. I am going to let her choose. So anyways, but let me know in the comments below, do you like the blue truck or do you like the red truck? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of your sweet and kind support. And uh, remember, community over competition. And we will talk to you soon. And God bless.